fog dims Wembley Stadium as England's captain Billy Wright and Spain's captain Sagara meet for the toss-up. Spain was the first continental country to beat us at soccer, but last time they were here, 24 years ago, they lost 7-1. Can they do better today? Spain in dark shirts are on the attack. Goalie Bainham, after a tussle with inside right higher, clears upfield. Right winger Tom Finney passes to inside right John Atio, who passes back again. But Finney's fouled by Spanish left back Campanal, and it's a penalty. Finney takes it, but goalie Carmelo saves. Looks as though he's going to have to work hard. Spain's defence is very patchy. Spain attacks on the right wing. The inside left Dominic heads, but misses. Now England's forwards move in. The ball goes to Finney and back to Nat Lofthouse. Now run Clayton to John Atio, who shoots, and he's made it. A goal with almost his first kick in an English shirt. Encouraged, England try again at once. And within a minute, Bill Perry lands the second in a wide open goal. At half time, it's still England 2, Spain 0. England could be doing a lot better. Too many missed chances, like this one by inside left Johnny Haynes. Lofthouse dodges Garay and finds the net, but French referee Guigues gives him offside. A doubtful decision, that one. But Tom Finney soon consoles the fans. From a sliding kick, he makes it 3-0. But if the Spanish defence is crumbling, the forward line still has plenty of fight. Outside left, Collar nearly lands a goal, but not quite, and right winger Gonzalez is out of luck too. Now an English attack, Perry jumps, and it's in. England four, and Spain still haven't scored. But in the 79th minute, a long cross from Gonzalez gives Arrieta the chance to head it home. So England win 4-1, and it should have been a lot more.